guys. And really thinking about it, I think the only option that Mega Man would really have, basically out of shield, is I think up smash. Up smash is, is yeah. I think I think, I think up smash. You know, it, it can go ahead and catch him in the air. I don't think he can jump with the pellets if I'm not mistaken. I don't. I don't, th I don't think it would catch the right angle. I don't know what the right uh, what yeah, the frame yeah, yeah. data I mean, is. I mean, this is why we're yeah. playing the set right now. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we are here to find out game one going over to Sony Stadium. Thank you, Miho. Just to start off center stage, getting a metal blade in hand. Rivers. Falling up there immediately. Yeah, chasing Kamehameha into the corner, but I don't think we'll be seeing anything too explosive quite yet. Usually, uh, players in their opening hands are a little bit more reserved as they feel each other out. I mean, Rivers is kind of sticking to his game plan, going a lot with these opposite angle up airs just to play on his shield, kind of dance around as you talked about earlier already. Yep, for the back already. Mm -hmm. okay. Just wanted that to build up that horizontal space, like you said, Mia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I would have figured he'd, he'd try to go for the forward throw and kind of keep that back throw fresh when it comes to the later percent, so that way it's not a tiny bit stale when he wants to seal off the spot. But I mean, at the end but of the day, nonetheless, if you I have mean, the it's still crom. Yeah. It's still crom. Yeah. Oh, I like that. He's getting that extra bit of damage. Yeah, Rivers is so patient, He's waiting it out. Wants to see what Kamame is going to be doing first. Oh, almost lining up the hard knuckle just a little bit too late. But I love that idea by Kamame, right? Just existing off stage, forcing Rivers to use his air dodge a little bit early and lock him into a single path of recovery. Yeah, I'm actually really surprised that Kamame didn't try to run out there to line up a back or even a forward air once he saw the directional air dodge come out from Rivers. Mm -hmm. Backs off completely, trying to look for a back air, but. Rivers finds one of his own, getting the first blood here in this best of five set. Still a long road ahead, especially with players like this, and there's that up smash we were just talking about, that kind of suction effect on it. Makes it so effective as an anti air. Right, may facing in the right direction this time around, just trying to throw that metal blade. And you know what, if he didn't have it in hand, he probably would have went for a grab instead. Mm -hmm. I mean, not even risking anything. Completely fine in the corner. Just, I have my gun. Just stay out of my face. Ooh, okay. Once River sneaks in, look at all that. Just straight to death. And that's the that's the reason why, you know, Kamehameha wants to keep his distance. I mean, that, that's just the power of Kron. You get hit by a couple of these strings. You get caught by that down air. I think the down air to the back air was the sickest thing. Th that recovery by Rivers is actually so clutch. Just barely avoiding that back air would have been such a terrible spot otherwise. Yep. Double jumping immediately. Not showing the air dodge yet. I think there Kamehameha was trying to catch uh, Rivers holding on the ledge a little bit too long. But Rivers uh, jumped up right before the forward air could grab him. He gets that double jump off of the ledge. There Ooh. we have it. Z drop metal blade into the back air. Yeah, we saw him test out the Z drop earlier against Rivers, but didn't try to follow it up with anything. Now he, I think he had the confidence to just go ahead and go for the kill. Pellis right, able to go ahead and get around Rivers there on his shield. Also, just keeping him out at the moment. Rivers picks up the metal blade though. <laughs> Oh wow, Rivers showing a lot of respect to the, to the air shooter. I mean, both of them just showing the utmost respect for one another. Not until they get that guaranteed one hit that will allow them to get their true combos, they're immediately kind of just disengaging or dancing around the shield. Mm. A solid 26%. Yeah, that's the first up beat we're actually seeing out from Rivers on stage. He, he needed that jump there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's very fortunate that he didn't get clipped by the forward air either. because forward air does start from the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just barely had the right spacing. Rivers just disengaging the center stage, looking to box Kamehameha once again. They're both just fighting so hard to just stay on the Pokeball. <laughs> Beautiful. Just the narrow one into death. Rivers finally finding his one opening after just such a stale. Uh, Tense stalemate. Like you said, Miho, just a lot of respect between these two players and their, the fact that they recognize the other one can just kill them in so many different ways that they put themselves out of line. So they just toss the, the slightest little pokes for themselves that they can think they can kill off of, but aren't willing to extend anything further. Yeah, no, I mean, at the end of that game, Rivers was kind of picking up on the tendencies that Kamame's doing with his spot dodges or really with his defensive options. As, you, as we saw him to get that stock, he jumped up, he saw the spot dodge, then landed that Nair one into the forest. Mm -hmm. yeah, looking forward 
into a little bit more of that, but now you're going over to Battlefield. River's immediately starting with such a burst of aggression here. Yeah, well, I'm actually curious to see what Kong is trying to look for on this stage. I mean, he does get the benefit of the platforms, but now it's the top platform that I'm really curious about. Yeah. Just because I'm not mistaken, Krom can actually up B, but land onto the platform if you wanted to. Yeah, I believe you're correct. And that's gonna that's gonna like potentially help out Rivers a lot because that up B having that super armor and a ton of damage on top of it, uh, it's gonna help him deflect some pressure. I assume that Kamehameha is hoping that he can use these platforms to really juggle Rivers really hard. Like if you shoot the the air shooter from the bottom of the platforms, it makes uh, landing from a juggle a nightmare. Yeah. But so far he hasn't had the chance to really leverage that Rivers. Just getting in Kamehameha's face and piling so, so much damage and finding just an F tilt to close yeah. it out. Kamehameha, or excuse me, Rivers is just having none of it right now. I think on the other side, maybe Kamehameha's just trying to look to take advantage of these ledges. Because, you know, they're a little suspect. Mm -hmm. You can just go ahead and charge out that forward smash as we talked about earlier to go ahead and catch the recoveries from Rivers. But Kamehameha getting ahead of steam now, gets that back throw, sends him off stage, and just barely whiffing on the roll there. Beautiful. All of those aerials made it so hard for Kamehameha to figure out when it was safe to move. Traps coming out from Rivers, trying to take advantage of the platform himself with the neutral beam. And that's one thing that these platforms are also kind of helping Rivers with, is giving him an alternate route through these pellets, right? We're seeing him jump a lot more over it and just kind of pecking Kamehameha's head with a forward air. So, just a little bit of dashing intimidation. This is one of the scariest situations. If you get down tilt by a crumb, <laughs> the jab not going to connect with the forward tilt, sending Kamehameha right back off stage. Oh, the crash bomb kind of saving Kamehameha. Wow, the forward tilt not quite doing it, but the fact that Rivers just stayed calm, waited for the roll distance, and once again just caught Kamehameha trying to move out of that corner a little bit too fast. Calm and collected G pick. Mm -hmm. Rivers over and over, finding that opening from Kamehameha. And I think that was three or four straight forward tilts in a row. That was also that uh, using the soaring slash on the ledge to grab it to make it save at the end. Pretty cheeky, but pretty nice. Oh, <laughs> no way. I, I was ready for the parry forward smash right there, but the multi hit move. For Kamehameha coming in off the back air, allowing him finally to get him off stage, and then another back air to get that stock. The thing is, Rivers is just now entering his second stock. Like, this is looking very hard for Kamehameha to make the full comeback. Yeah. Now, we were talking about the gimps you could possibly get on Chrome, but like, yes, there, there's situations that can happen, but they don't come free. Yeah, no, Rivers is so, like, because he knows that's a possibility, oh. he's so careful about the way that he's recovering. But right there, just the single tap after a double jump, that's all it takes to kill this character sometimes. Sorry, Rivers. The Smash Gods heard me. I, I apologize right now. <laughs> um, but we're, we're, we're last stock situation. Uh, Kamehameha is sitting at 98%. Yeah, basically at death percent. Oh. Again, Rivers is getting so much mileage off of these forward tilts. Really just going through a lot of the pellets. They're keeping that pressure, trying to catch the jumps from the ledge. This time, Rivers changing his timing, waiting a little bit longer, finding the F tilts. Which they don't quite kill as early as he likes. Yes, looking for another one now. Back air, gonna get parried. And he's so patient in the corner and his shield, but there's the soaring slash on the top platform. Still holding on to dear life. Super fine robot, made of some heavy stuff. Yeah. Not heavy enough. The up tilt actually gonna take that one away. Yeah, reverse hit up tilt too. Yeah. Looking to catch, just catch the fist of the, uh, the pellet shooter. It's the Mega Bat Blast. Buster. Is it Mega Buster? Yes, yes. I remember what my Mega Man is. I don't play enough, so I'm gonna let you have that. Alright, alright. <laughs> I just I just call it lemons, I call it pellets. Or as I was a child, it's called the Pew Pew. The Pew Pew. The yeah, pew, I, pew. it's maybe it's power, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Pew Pew, because it's the P Buster, right? Mm -hmm. It's the P shooter. Yeah, yeah. Well I'm on, it's just with the noise it makes. Pew 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 pew. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> a simple man G pick. End of the day. Looked like a very convincing win for Rivers. We did see a glimpse, though, of that edge guarding potential that Kamehameha has in the matchup. Um, but as you were mentioning earlier, Rivers being so good at recovering with Krom, it is kind of the reason why he is the preeminent Krom, is that he's able to mitigate that one huge weak spot that the character has so consistently that it makes it back to the stage over and over. And I think to maybe leverage against that a little bit better, we have a counter pick coming from Kamehameha. Gonna be going to the Pokemon trainer. I think between uh, Ivysaur and Squirrel, there is some good potential for some edge guarding here. It also just looks like uh, against Rivers and his uh, and Krom specifically, the movement speed that he has in neutral, it's so much harder to build up that space between you and him that 
just having your zone broken over and over again. Eventually, you just want to try a different game plan entirely. Yeah, I, think, I mean, with Squirtle, it's, it's a smaller body. It's going to be very difficult to go ahead and try to get the sword on him a lot of times. More importantly, having access to the water gun when Chrom is off stage. This is continuously pushing him off. But like you said, with the Ivy Sword, that down air is just massive. Even if you only get the weak hit off of it, that's still enough to just completely give Chrom. An opportunity, but River sent further in stage instead. Column is just getting any damage that he can. Not getting the full optimized combos as we're, we usually see with a lot of Pokemon trainers, but just even that single neutral layer, just extending this lead. Oh, back here is not quite going to do it, but hitting Kamehameha in a tough spot. And this is the thing that's interesting. That's like the fifth time Kamehameha has the neutral getup. He just keeps getting poked by Nair over and over again there. Oh, <laughs> not Nair, Jab rather. Okay, he's going to get Trump that time around. Finally, the forwarder is enough to take out the Charizard. Mm -hmm. Big body. River's just taking full advantage of uh, Kamehameha not mixing up his wake-ups, getting the stock for it. Is he just going to look for neutral getup again? Oh, okay, this time it's his jump. No! <laughs> when that happened, you know what the funny thing is? Kamehameha just kind of chuckled. He was just like, okay, yeah, I, I guess that's what All happened. Right, you got it. <laughs> Down smash? I, I didn't even get to see what he tried to charge up, but nonetheless, he is just taken straight to the depths. And you see River is now working on a possible three stock. Oh, it's looking very, very likely at this that's point. Th that's disgusting, River. You, you can't just do that to a man. Dashed up, dashed back, and then knew he was going to roll. Hit him with the shimmy. There. That's <laughs> that's the start. We've seen we've seen this big of a gap between them on game two, right? And Kamehameha managed to get a good gimp on the second stock and really start to even things up. Uh -oh. The upper trains. Are we going to get the water gun? Nah. Not going to need it. River's just able to go straight to the ledge. Yeah, trying to go to the traps instead. River's able to get back to center stage, and this is a scary spot as Squirtle 142 will go ahead and take away the stock. Jab back air from that high. The sword still able to connect on the little turtle. I mean, that's ultimately what's so useful, is even though you know, Squirtle's is so small, like having that big arc, and more importantly, the fact that uh, Squirtle tends to be so mobile, right? He's trying to jump around and get around you, covering that entire air in front of you and having the same consistent confirm right afterwards. This really simplifies that whole equation. That was very convincing out from Rivers. Oh, yes. Kamame is such a strong player from Japan, and Rivers, you know, just went right through him. Yeah, the, the first game looked pretty competitive, but then especially the second and third ones was just kind of a I mean, bloodbath. R R Rivers just separated himself there. Yeah. Spe especially in 2 3. You can kind of feel that, like, Kamame was just trying to find some type of answer. I mean, the Pokemon trainer, I, I actually have not seen him play that character before. I know we, we know his Wario, we know his. Mega Man. Mega Man. Yeah, yeah okay. I was, I was okay. gonna get I was gonna call it a robot <laughs> and I'm like, wait, it's Rockman. Wait a minute. There, there's there's two robots in this game, so yeah, like sorry. calling it the robot actually doesn't Yeah, there's actual robot yeah. and then there's Mega Man robot. Yeah. <laughs> I, but Mega Man's actually older than Rob too, yeah, which is kind of unfortunate. Really? If you think about it, right? Because it didn't Mega Man come out before, remember old buddy? Before Gyromite? Am I is my years wrong? I don't my know. We, we need wrong. Google. We need Google. Yeah, I need I need, I need Google. Google and Twitter, guys. Let us know.